All right, everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Today I'm gonna go get some vegetable oil and it's warm enough out now that I can actually show you guys that. So I have my little kit here, uh, small block Chevy oil pump you guys saw me make. Uh, my cordless drill, pipe wrench has nothing to do with this. Actually, the things were stuck on this. Uh, two five gallon things, I don't get a lot at a time. So, uh, and a hose, so. I'm gonna go pump the oil. I'll show you guys pumping the oil and then I'll show you how I filter it and how I store it. And we'll be back. All right, so at the end of all that fun and games, which it only took a few minutes, as you saw, to pump 10 gallons out. Um, I usually do 10 or 20 gallons at a time, and then I dump it in my barrel. I don't have everything set up for processing here at the shop, mainly because we have to grade that area. We're going to build a lean-to there, and that's where it's ultimately going to go. So I don't want to have too much oil on hand here and then have to move it, but... uh. I've showed you guys this before, if you let it sit, that's water at the bottom, oil at the top. That's what happens. Um, I'll actually cut this off real quick, carry you over to my barrel and show you what's going on over there. So we'll be right. All right. So this is a standard 50 gallon drum, 55 gallon drum, whatever. Um, this is just a gene leg. This will filter it down to like five microns. And that's kind of all you have to do to run it in something older like my uh, Toyota or Power Stroke over here. I don't know if you can see that, but I can see there's a buttload of water in this oil. There's a lot of water in there. So it smells like a turd. I'll go get the other two. We'll be right back. So that's good oil. Now we're getting into the water part. You can probably do this without making a giant mess, but I can't. That's why it's over here in the dirt. So anyway, I'm not gonna keep torturing you with all this. It takes some time. I 
So anyway, I'm not going to keep torching you with all this. Uh, it takes a little time. But basically what I do is I dump my little weekly haul into here. Um, I have a pipe that goes down. And I'll draw from like right here. This first band. And above. Because all the water will drop to the bottom. Um, what I'm going to do when I have this lean-to finished is I'm going to put a spigot in there so I can drain the water off. Uh, but I kind of don't want to mess with building a stand and elevating it. All this equipment's going to go right in this area. I just, I got to get this lean-to built, um, which is going to happen over the summer. But once it drains through that, those jeans, that's five micron, you can just put a normal filter, um, and run it in something like that or something like this as it is it'll be a little too thick um for like cold weather which is why you'll see people with obs trucks like this that have two tanks they'll heat this tank by running engine cooling into it and they'll start they'll keep diesel in this tank so they'll start on this tank when the engine gets warmed up they'll switch to this tank because the coolant will have heated the oil and dropped the viscosity um it can go in the tank after you get the water out of it, after you filter it, and then drain the water out of it and check it. Hold on a second. Um, it can go in something like that, this indirect injected as is, as straight oil. To run it in something like this, you have to actually get the glycerin out of it, which involves lye and methanol which drops the glycerin out, which is kind of like fats, solids, because um, those injectors run at way higher pressure than these, which run at way higher pressure than those. Uh, those are like 2,000 PSI. I think these are up around five, and those are like 20,000. So uh, we'll go through this though over the next few weeks, but that's basically my process, how I collect my oil, how I store it, uh, a week from now, I'll show you how I siphon it off and we'll run the, uh, well, two weeks from now for you guys. Two weeks from now, I'll show you how I actually process it into uh, usable oil to dump into that, which is what that's running on all summer. Um, and then from there, two weeks after that, I'll show you how I process it into B100 biofuel for that. So I actually have a little Kubota that can run on this as well. Um, I'll probably get a small diesel engine to do some demonstration stuff for you guys with, but, uh, that's it. That's the, uh, that's the vegetable oil. This barrel over here is the engine oil and ATF, um, which will be a different series of videos, but same idea. So I know I don't like paying 540 a gallon. I'm sure you guys don't either, which is what diesel's at right now in may of uh 2022 so yeah thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time on the driveway engineer